Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to SD Talks, brought to you by Image Skincare. I'm Leslie, and I'll be your virtual MC today. We will get started in just a few moments, but before we do, I would like to go over a few things. First, everyone is on mute to ensure we can hear our guest host, Cameron Cooper. We encourage you to turn your cameras on so we can see our beautiful skincare community. Please feel free to ask questions during the event by clicking on the chat icon at the bottom of your screen. Our Image Skincare Corporate Education team will be answering questions during the event. At the end of the event, Cameron will also address questions. I will share all of the products used during the live event at the end. This event is being recorded. SD Talks is an initiative we've created to support our beloved community of professionals, the lifeblood of our brand. It's a direct way to connect our clients and consumers to our VIP estheticians and professionals to get a behind closed doors look into professional skincare. With that, I'd like to introduce you to Cameron Cooper, our host of today's SD Talks brought to you by Image Skincare. Please welcome him with a virtual round of applause. Hey everyone, my name is Cameron Cooper. I'm 26 years old and I'm an esthetician based out of Hillcrest Heights, Maryland. Today you guys are actually joining me, uh, get a behind the scenes look actually at an aesthetics stool, school and we're here at the Aesthetics Institute in Tyson's Corner, Virginia. You guys can actually follow me this way. Here at my school is actually where I began to take my love for skincare and took that journey on into becoming an esthetician. Our school has actually been partnered with Image Skincare for over a decade now. And through the school, I was able to have so many different experiences with the brand, learn so much product knowledge, and built everlasting relationships with not only the classmates, but the instructors here as well. Now, Image Skincare is actually a professional line. They're powered by proven ingredients and uh, botanicals as well that lead to a great skincare routine. The formulas are physician formulated and tested by a group of professionals that way you guys feel the most confident in your skincare and in your skin. Now my two favorite products um, when I first was introduced to Image quickly became first being the Hormetic uh, Balancing Cleanser and second being the Clear Cell Medicated Acne Lotion. Those two products were the main two that I noticed a huge improvement in my skin with and especially with helping out my folliculitis barbea around my jaw and chin line area. Um, it was able to balance my skin, hydrate it, and also uh, balance the oil production as well. Um, the medicated lotion actually has benzoyl peroxide in it as well, so it's a great antimicrobial to help balance out and fight any bacteria that may exist on your skin. Now, as you guys can see, I actually have my mask on down below my chin right now. Um, my assistant and everyone in the school right now has a mask on, and I'm sure either you have a mask on or it's one near you. Um, and unfortunately, due to the pandemic, this has become part of our new normal. So this is something that we have to wear for hours at a time and day in and day out. So what this has now caused, because the mask sits on your face for hours at a time throughout the day, it's trapping actually all that dirt and oil and you're breathing into it. So it's creating additional humidity and that becomes a breeding ground for bacteria. That bacteria then leads to your, your skin breaking out and it's caused by the mask and that's what's now caused maskne. So the maskne is when the, the mask is sitting on your face for hours at a time it's trapping all that oil between the mask and your skin. And that's why we're noticing this uprise in people having breakouts right in this area. Now, not only is it causing the breakouts, but it's also causing pigmentation problems. Hyperpigmentation or dark spots around your nose, your chin, even your ear where the strings and straps are from the mask sit, it causes irritation on your skin and that leads to hyperpigmentation. So I wanna take you guys on a brief demo on how I treat not only the pigmentation, but the mask knee as well. So you guys can actually follow me over to the treatment room. So welcome you guys. We're here in the treatment room where we're joined by my beautiful model, Toya. She not only is one of my fellow classmates, but she's also a student here as well and one of my now great friends. So I'm gonna just take the camera and flip it for you guys so you can see a bit of the demonstration. Give me one sec, we'll get everything set up for you. There you go. How you doing today, T? I'm good. Good. I'm good. So again, thank you all for joining us today. 
our model here, T, she let me know that she also experiences matching. Now, how has that affected your skin, T? Um, all in this area right here, mm -hmm. my ass area, yeah. And because, again, that mask, you guys, is sitting on your face for so long, it causes an imbalance in your skin. And it causes the pores to become congested. You have increased oil production. And you'll notice even on T, like she's got some kind of little active flares there as well. So it's very common for anybody to get masking now that we have to wear these masks for hours at a time. So what we're gonna start with, I'm just gonna adjust my mask and sanitize my hands. We're gonna do a double cleanse. I definitely recommend a double cleanse for anybody. It's super duper important, especially now that we're facing this new trend of masking. I'm gonna start with first, the Intense Brightening Cleanser from the Aluma line. We're gonna use this one first, you guys. Now it is a demonstration, so I'm gonna be abbreviating some of the steps, but of course in like a regular treatment, if you were to come see me, it will be like a general 45 to an hour treatment. But we're gonna start off with this cleanser, the Intense Brightening Cleanser. This one is a super duper light cleanser. It's oil based, so it's gonna help draw out those impurities. And it's gonna also help brighten her skin as well. And this one you can actually put on the skin while it's dry. It has a really great gel to milk consistency. And I love the smell of this one too. So you're gonna apply that all over the face. Now a general rule of thumb, is try to wash your face for about 60 seconds. Again, like I said, everything will be abbreviated today for demonstrational purposes, but about 60 seconds is what you wanna follow. Now we're gonna emulsify the product, just adding a little bit of water. And you guys can see how it's turned into that milky consistency. That's what's gonna help pull up those impurities because oil does attract oil. Okay, now we're gonna remove this first product and get into our second cleanse. And you guys, with this new trend of masking, that's why it's super important that you all find a professional. We're using professional products and I'm a professional esthetician as well. And we're gonna be able to look at your skin. It goes beyond just the product claims. It's about product knowledge, ingredient knowledge, and really crafting a skincare system that's gonna be tailored to your skin type. How are you feeling, T? Oh, great. You good? Perfect. I love this one, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Now that we've moved, removed our first face cleanse, we're going to move into our second cleanse. And this one, if you guys remember, is one of my favorites. This is the Ormetic Balancing Cleanser. It's a super mild and refreshing gel cleanser. It's going to help sweep away those impurities but also still leave her skin hydrated without stripping it. So take about a quarter size amount. You'll notice the product is not gonna get super duper foamy. That's because it's super gentle on the skin. It's gonna be great for again, balancing that pH. And all of Image products are actually already pH balanced. So if you're short on time, you can actually mix the two cleansers if you want to get both of those added benefits in one. And again, I love how this one smells as well. And like I was mentioning, you guys, again, seeing a professional is really, really important. I'll mention at the end some ways that you can get connected to other estheticians. But it's going to be really important to find someone that understands the skin, the history of the skin, the different layers of the skin, and how products can be layered to achieve the results that you're looking for. So that was our second cleanse. And we're going to take this cleanser off now. And like I mentioned, in like a normal treatment, we'd also probably include like a nice steam treatment, um, a hand treatment and massage as well. But again, for demonstrational purposes, we're just going to abbreviate some of the steps today. You just want to make sure that you get all this cleanser off, not leaving anything behind. Okay. 
You still doing okay, T? Yeah. Now, the next product, you guys, is actually the star of today's presentation. And it's going to sound crazy. It's going to sound crazy. But we're going to use a mask to actually mask the mask need. And this is one of my favorite masks right now, especially if we're trying to balance and detoxify the skin. Because our skin is so out of whack right now, it's not used to not being able to breathe and sitting under these masks for so long. So this is the Image Purifying Probiotic Mask. It has a great blend of yogurt-based probiotics, green Brazilian clay, and activated charcoal. Oops. Now what you guys wanna do with this one, just get a little bit on like a facial brush, and then just gonna lightly apply it to the face. And you'll feel it on the skin. It doesn't get super duper dry like any of those other type of clay masks that you might see. It keeps the skin feeling nice and balanced. It's helping restore the skin barrier. And again, we're gonna focus this one mostly in the areas of where that mask sits, because I can see the congestion in the skin. So again, you're just going to let this sit on your face for about five to 10 minutes or so. You've got some time. And again, you'll notice it and feel it as it starts to dry on the face a little bit. It'll go from this like deeper green to a little bit of a lighter green, but it's super duper effective. At, again, you guys detoxifying the skin, clarifying the skin and pulling out all of those impurities from the mask sitting on your face. Um, especially if you're wearing, if you happen to wear makeup or if you've got additional moisturizers and SPF on as well. You want to put that balance and moisture back into this, the skin. Skin is looking good, too. Looking good. So we're tackling the mask for you guys one client at a time. Again, Image is a professional skincare brand, so it's formulated with all the right ingredients that are going to be effective on your skin. So now that this is set for a moment, we're going to go ahead and remove. The best way to remove this one because it is a clay mask is with a steam towel. So if you can get a hot towel or a steam towel, that'll be perfect for you. Just test it, make sure it's not too hot and burn my model. <laughs> We're just gonna press it before we gently remove everything from the skin. And I can already see how much clearer and the clarity in her skin, especially around like the cheek area where the mask sits and you're breathing so much right there. I can already see the difference in her skin. And again, like I said, you all, the mask does, isn't one of those like clay masks that dries down super, super dry. So it's still nice and comfortable to still take it off of your face. Some of the other ones can like dry so much that it hurts taking them off. And your skin is left looking refreshed and balanced and hydrated. And next we're gonna move into treating the pigmentation again. So we've used the Aluma Brightening Cleanser already. Now I'm gonna move into the Aluma Serum. So this is the Intense Brightening Serum. This is gonna be great for fighting any of those pigmented spots, especially on the nose, the chin, the jawline. And you can just apply this all over the face and concentrate it in those areas where you notice that you might have an active flare or any additional pigmentation. And again, I love how this one smells too. All of the products smell so amazing, you all. and just work that into the skin as well. It's gonna leave the skin feeling hydrated and glowing as well. Now our next product is actually the Clear Cell Medicated Acne Lotion. 
I especially love that one because I mentioned that as one of my favorites earlier. It's great at, at being an antimicrobial, so it's going to help prevent any additional bacteria from growing, especially while it's sitting under that mask. And we're able to spot treat any of her active flares. So I've got a little bit here. We're just going to spot treat some areas. And again, you can use this one either all over or as a spot treatment. Now that we spot treated and we're helping out balancing the acne and any of that additional sebum and oil production, now we want to go in and still hydrate and treat that skin. I know that your face is under that mask, but you still have to use SPF. You still got most of your face exposed on the upper half, and you still want to make sure you're hydrating and protecting the skin because those UV rays can still get through your mask. So we're going to take our SPF, and this one also has digital defense as well. So if you're on your phone a lot, like a lot of us are, we're on Zoom now, we have a lot of Zoom meetings, it's going to be perfect for that. You just really work that into your hands, kind of warm up the product, and then start applying. And again, you want to apply this all over to the skin. Not just to the skin that's exposed, but even the skin that's underneath the mask as well. Right, see? Thank you. Your skin is now oh, cleansed and hydrated and protected. You. So you guys are beautiful model. She is all done. Thank you, T. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> now, let's see, I see we might have some questions. So let's see if we got any. Okay, so we had a bunch of questions come in via email when everyone was res registering for your beautiful event. So the first question is, I uh -huh. have very sensitive skin and I'm scared to exfoliate. What mm. would you suggest for me? Don't be afraid to exfoliate. Sensitive skin is not a reason to not exfoliate your skin. Image has some great products that are actually made for sensitive skin and still allow you to exfoliate. So actually a part of the Aluma line, they have a brightening powder that's a, a powder enzyme for your skin. It's not as abrasive as a lot of the scrubs and things that people are used to, but it'll still provide the additional exfoliation. Um, you could also try the Vital C enzyme mask as well. The enzyme is just a great way of helping dissolve the dead skin cells on your face. So that's also a method of exfoliation that you could do too. Awesome, thank you, Cameron. Absolutely. Okay, next question. I feel like I treat my mask knee pretty well, but I still get dark spots on my skin from it. What would you suggest I use to help with the dark spots? Yeah, so kind of how we touched on today with the pigmentation as well as the masking, um, the Illumilon is going to be great for fighting that pigmentation. It's going to fight those um, it, cells in your skin that actually produce melanin and produce the pigment. So something like the Intense Brightening Serum like this one. And again, all the products you guys, uh, Leslie will have a slide of all the products that I used today just in case you missed anything. But this one will be great. I would definitely start off with this one. And again, exfoliating is going to be a great way to help even out the skin complexion. Okay, next question. Can I still get mask knee if I'm not wearing makeup when using a mask? Mm, that's a good question. I mean, absolutely. We all know that makeup can sometimes clog your pores, but if you're wearing makeup or even not wearing makeup and you have that mask sitting on your face for hours at a time, it's more so the fact that the oils are getting trapped between the mask and your skin. And when your skin can't breathe like it's normally used to breathing, all that becomes a breeding ground for bacteria to just continue to grow and produce additional breakouts. Thank you. Okay, last question. Where I live, it's 110 degrees. Oh. So how can I prevent sweat causing acne? No, it's gonna be hard to not sweat, but I will give you guys a few great tips. So with your mask, if you have a moment where you can bring your mask down, give your face some time to breathe, do that. 
So if you're not in public, you're not around other people, move your mask, give your face some time to breathe. Um, and then of course, just try to stay as cool as you can. Sweating is um, definitely something that's gonna help hold onto the dirt. So just make sure at the end of the day, you're doing a nice deep cleanse on your face. Um, like we did today, we did a double cleanse and I would definitely recommend that for someone like yourself, um, especially if you're hopefully wearing sunscreen if it's 110 degrees. So definitely make sure you have sunscreen on. Um, but at the end of the day, do a nice double cleanse, making sure that you really help lift up the, the sweat, the dirt, the oil that has uh, sat on your face for so long. Great, thank you so much. Cameron, for those watching that have additional questions, why don't you let everyone know how to get in touch with you and Image Skincare? Absolutely. So again, I just wanted to thank everybody for joining us on today's SD Talks. Um, you guys can actually follow myself on my Instagram, which is skin.by.cam, or my personal page, which is cameron.j.coop. And you guys can also check out Image on their website, which is imageskincare.com or on their Instagram page at Image Skincare. Um, Image actually also you guys has a great, great resource for all of you, especially while we're all spending so much time at home. You guys can use this time to learn and, and build your skincare knowledge by going to imagedirectory.imageskincare.com. And there you can actually be connected with an esthetician that you can talk to virtually like this or call, or in some areas, hopefully go out and see and be able to you know, learn some more about your skincare and learn a system that's gonna work for you and help fight the mask need. Um, I'm actually located in the DC metro area and I'm still taking clients right now, um, or I can travel to you as well. So that's something that I offer. Um, my specialties are men's skincare, um, treating hyperpigmentation and acne facials. Um, but I, my main goal is to really look at your skin in particular. Um, because again, you guys, like I mentioned all throughout today, it's important that you find a professional that's going to learn your skin and create a routine that's going to really work for you. Thank you, Cameron. Why don't you close this out? And at the end, I'll uh, put up some slides of how to get in touch with you, Image Skincare, as well as the important products that you use today. Absolutely. So like she mentioned, you guys, everything will be listed below for you. We've got great products available for you. We've got great products available for you through Image Skincare. My name is Cameron Cooper, and I just wanted to thank you guys again for joining us on today's episode of SD Talks. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you everyone for joining. Have a fantastic day.